And next question is, what is a spinal fluid leak? Um, a spinal fluid leak essentially is where you have your spinal cord and then you have a dura, which is like a sac of the fluid that is around your spinal cord. Um, if you have a hole in your dura, you are leaking spinal fluid. Um, often your body is going to overcompensate and try to make more of that spinal fluid, but you are leaking your spinal fluid and your spinal fluid goes up and holds your brain suspended in like a little bubble. Um, if you don't have enough spinal fluid in there, your brain is going to be like sagging to the base of your skull, basically sitting on your spine. Um, that's going to cause a lot of headache problems. It doesn't sound good. It's not good. Um, you know, there's there's not a good way to really say, like, this is a, a definite way to know if you have a spinal fluid leak. But the best way I would say is if you're laying down and you feel okay and you stand up and you don't there's a good chance. Um, and it might take, you know, so, so let's say you're, you're having this headache and it's happening all the time and you don't know that you, oh, I lay down, I, I still have a headache. Yes. If you lay down for 24, 48 hours, and then this is the best I've felt in weeks, good chance you have spinal fluid. Because when you're flat, your spine is horizontal and you don't have that pressure happening you know you're you're flat and and this is also flat no pillows like just literally flat um but when you're standing up that's like what two and a half three feet of pressure like you know if you go two two three feet underwater you're going to feel that pressure like i'm sure if you go underwater you feel that pressure on your ears um that's what's happening like your whole spine is sitting underneath that amount of pressure and if that is leaking um, it's definitely going to cause a lot of problems going on. Um, I couldn't even hold a conversation. I couldn't even talk to somebody when I was severely leaking. Um, so basically, it is a hole in your dura that is causing the spinal fluid to be leaking. Um, this is fairly common and well known about when uh, somebody goes and has a baby or, or has an epidural and that pinhole is put in into your spinal I don't think it actually goes through to the dura wherever it goes it goes in and it causes a little pinhole um, and that's leaking and that's well known about because it's a one little spot that the doctor you know made when he was giving you an epidural and it's easy to just go get a patch and cover that one little area and it'll heal itself. Um, however, if you have POTS and Ehlers danlos Syndrome, it is a good possibility. You don't have one little pinhole. You have tears, multiple tears down the length of your spine. For me, it, you know, there was a couple in my upper spine, there was a couple in my lower back. And it's difficult to know where those actually come from. The images don't show, um, if you go get an MRI, it might, might not show it. If you go get a CT myelogram, it might not show it. Um, it's difficult to diagnose. It's easy to diagnose the ones that are very obvious and huge, like, oh my gosh, that's a huge leak, but you could have a small little tear that's leaking. It's going to cause you a lot of problems. Um, primarily being the headache and the cognitive issues with, with thinking and I mean I couldn't remember passwords, I couldn't remember very easy tasks because just my brain was just not working. Um, and the level of pain is very severe, like you cannot handle standing up um, when it's leaking really really badly. If you just have a small leak, you just might have this really annoying ongoing headache that doesn't, you know, get better with pain meds. It just kind of is always there. If it's worse, 
late in the day after you've been standing up all day, that's a good sign that it's not, uh, that it's a, that it is a spinal fluid leak and not a different kind of headache. Um, if if uh, you lay down and you wake up in the morning before you ever get up, you feel okay. That's that's kind of how it is. So that's what a spinal fluid leak is, and it uh, can be fixed with a uh, spinal uh, blood patch. Um, and I can talk about those in another video if you want to actually talk about what the process of getting a blood patch is. But um, that is a spinal fluid leak.